Blackjack, craps, even drinking on the gaming floor. New Mexico's racinos are rolling the dice, hoping the state will overhaul gambling laws so they can compete with the Indian casinos. Here's News 13's Chris McKee with a look at what's on the table. There's so many different things that, you know, that can benefit from this in tourism. It is a big bet coming from New Mexico's racetrack casinos that now is the time for a massive change to the state rules racinos and tribal casinos play by. We have the capability of, of turning the tide and creating the tourist uh, destination not only here but across all five racetracks and the travel casinos. Rick Baugh runs Sunland Park's Racino and is spearheading the Gaming Industry Recovery Act, a bill that would break New Mexico's current gaming compact and allow much of what casinos can't do today. Post-COVID, you know, what is this economy going to look like? Racinos would be the big winners, though, getting the green light to bring in table games and sports betting, something only the tribal casinos can do now. The bill would open the door for Vegas-style comps for food, hotel rooms, and golf games for casinos and racinos, and also allow for expanded hours and alcohol on the gaming floor. We do a good job in, in getting folks here, but let's really, really give them a reason to, to come to New Mexico, to stay here for a long time, spend money. The proposal would let tribes keep the $70 million their casinos currently send to the state each year. Bill supporters think the racinos would make up for those tax losses if they're allowed to do more. Republican Senator Bill Scher of Farmington represents a district with a racino. The oil gas uh, industry being destroyed is the only reason that this is open to, to even a possibility in my mind. Uh, the destruction of our economy. We got to do something. He's cautious about what he thinks lifting limits on gambling venues would do locally. If in their, uh, our, our efforts we limited or prohibited local advertising uh, and really focused on advertising out of the state, maybe this is an acceptable solution. Chris McKee, KRQE News 13. We reached out to several Democratic lawmakers for comment on the idea, but didn't get a response from their side. The bill will be presented to a legislative committee on October 1st.